Good Thursday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick check of the forecast for today. Not too bad overall, but we do have some very warm conditions heading our direction for today. Some 10 to 15 degrees above where we should be for this time of the year. But before we start talking about too much more in the way of heat index temperatures, we are going to be talking about wind chills before too long. So if you like those up and down temperatures, we have got a forecast for you. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. We'll also take a look at the tropics. We'll take a look at burn bands around the Mid-South area. We'll also take a look and see what's going on with air quality. That's something new that we're going to be adding to our forecast coming up here, courtesy of the National Weather Service, plus more on tonight's updated information about our next Skywarn Storm Spotter meeting. That's coming up later on this evening, so stay tuned for more on that. We'll keep you updated on all that. Rest of the morning, again, partly cloudy skies for the most part. We're starting to see a few speckles of rainfall out there not by that much but we will see more chances of showers and thunderstorms the farther we go into this afternoon and this evening not great chances but once again it will be possible so outdoor activity is going to have to again keep an eye on that olive branch on the weather underground camera network from former mayor current meteorologist sam reichard showing again some Pretty quiet conditions uh, into and around the area for right now. A few clouds out there, blue skies, and 68 degrees at the Olive Branch Airport for this morning. Winds out of the southeast at about 7 miles per hour. Oxford, Mississippi, plenty of sunshine. Grounds crew out and about getting things done at the track and field facility. A little bit of cloud cover, mainly sunshine. 66 degrees at the Oxford, Mississippi airport with southeasterly winds at about 8 miles per hour. Welcome to everybody who's checking in from across the Mid-South and points beyond. Drop your location and your weather reports, if you have any, into the comments section. And we'll read off some of the weather reports out there and see what the weather's like in your area. 69 degrees at City Hall in Germantown. Poplar Pike back toward Germantown Parkway and looking off toward the towers of East Memphis. Again, a little hazy, a little bit of patchy fog, but not as bad as it was yesterday. No question about that. Decent sunshine on the square in Collierville just past sunrise this morning and things again back in the mid to upper 60s. Now that's decently mild for this time of the year. Could be a little bit cooler and it's going to be a lot cooler coming up as we go into the course of the next couple of days. So stay tuned for more on that. Hilton East Memphis camera traffic reaching the peak of rush hour back into about plenty of sunshine again a little hazy. That's also normal for a large metropolitan area and from West Memphis Arkansas not really able to see downtown Memphis, just barely there on the horizon. Again, that air quality out there plays a part in that. 69 degrees at the West Memphis Airport and winds out of the southeast at about 10 miles per hour with 90% humidity. Traffic on I-55, I-40 as of about 7 minutes past 8 o'clock. Everything moving along quite nicely at this time. Rest of the day today doesn't look all that bad across the Mid-South as air quality across much of the area appears to be on the good side, so we don't see too much to worry about in the way of pollution. We didn't come close to an air quality alert over the last few days, so no problems at all being seen for right now. And it looks like we're going to be seeing some decent clear conditions into the next several days as more rainfall continues to make its way into and around the area for right now. Few scattered showers, I-22, northeast Mississippi here, northwestern Alabama over here, scattered showers making their way across I-22, but that's it for any rainfall out there, and most of that is over toward Pontotoc, Union, Tishomingo counties, and moving away from us. Not much of anything else in the rest of the News Channel 3 viewing area. We have a few showers back over to around Fort Smith, Fayetteville, back to around Eureka Springs in Arkansas. The Oklahoma area picking up most of the rainfall for this morning. Heaviest thunderstorms, Lake of the Ozarks, south of Jefferson City and Columbia, moving up toward I-70. And again, more chances of showers and thunderstorms, the greatest possibility here as our next storm system begins to make its way toward the Mid-South. But what we're going to see is more haphazard, scattered type of activity throughout the course of the rest of the day. Decently mild out there. Again, temperatures could be a lot cooler at this time of the year. They're not. Only back into about the mid to upper 60s right now for low temperatures. Winds variable, but they will be turning up out of the south throughout the rest of the day. Best chances of rainfall will be east of the Mississippi River, Eastern Arkansas, southern Missouri, I wouldn't rule out a shower or a thunderstorm early on, but the best possibility is going to be coming up past lunchtime and into this afternoon. That means for the kids walking home or having anything in the way of extracurricular activities outdoors, 
you may see again the need to move those things back indoors again. Remember when thunder roars, go indoors. Practical lightning safety, it's not that difficult. Don't take a risk by staying outdoors when those thunderstorms are nearby. Please, again, think safety first and safety always out there. Now, the chances of showers and thunderstorms will remain across much of the area through dinner time tonight and very warm as well. Temperatures today for highs upper 80s to around about the lower 90s. Now again, we could see some heat index numbers out there in the lower to mid 90s. That's not out of the question, but that's going to be changing pretty soon as our next storm system gets in here into tomorrow. Now again, overnight rain chances kind of fall apart. There's not really that much going on. We see more chances of rainfall. The best chances of rainfall will be coming up into tomorrow morning. So again, if you're going to be doing anything tomorrow, school, work, commute, vacation, whatever, getting an early start, keep it tuned to the weather experts. I'll have your forecast as Todd Demers is on vacation. And of course, Corey Ventura will have more on time saver traffic starting early tomorrow. And again, starting off with this weather moving in, Definitely want to know what's going on down the roadways so you can have a safe and timely commute because tomorrow, again, with more rain and less visibility out there, sad to say it's a good bet. We're probably going to see a lot more accidents tomorrow, so definitely want to keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you updated on that. Lows tomorrow, not that low because winds will be coming in. Again, from out of the south, that warm tropical air will do a very good job of keeping the temperatures up into the mid to upper 60s to lower 70s. So, again, for the next couple of days, not seeing again anything in the way of a threat of severe weather. That is way back to our west, so good news on that. Slight risk category from the Red River all the way up to the Missouri River Valley and the best possibility of damaging winds. Maybe some large hail mixed in with that. The area you see here... That, again, just indicating the possibility of just generic thunderstorms. No severe weather expected for today. Likewise, good news into tomorrow. Widespread thunderstorms possible, but so far not seeing anything on the way of severe weather for there. And by Saturday, everything kind of clears out and looks very nice into the early part of the weekend. Could be some leftover showers, but again, that's going to be about as much as we see at this point in time. We'll be keeping track of the weather again throughout the rest of the weekend, so keep it tuned for more on News Channel 3. Rest of today, partly cloudy with isolated showers and thunderstorms popping up. As we go throughout the rest of Thursday, temperatures will be way above normal, 10 to 15 degrees above normal. So expecting a warm shirt sleeve day out there. Kids heading off to school may need some rain protection as we get into later on this afternoon and into this evening. Tomorrow, showers and thunderstorms throughout the day, and some of those could linger into and around Friday night football. That could be a problem out there, especially with game delays. The officials are going to have to keep a close eye on the weather. And again, difficult to get several thousand people into safety when there's lightning around. So definitely want to keep it tuned to the weather experts, and we'll help you on, update it on that. Getting into Saturday. Here's where the change starts to take place. Cold front arrives as we go through Friday into early on Saturday. We may see some showers sticking around early on Saturday morning, but most of what we're going to be looking at is going to be, again, the chances of rain dwindling and moving on out of the picture. So cool, dry, pleasant for Saturday, going from heat index numbers to possible wind chills as we get into Saturday, also on Sunday. Temperatures back in the lower 40s and staying in the 60s throughout the weekend. This is the October weather a lot of you have been looking for. Those of you who love the warmer weather, you got something in there too. So again, not doing too bad. We'll warm up a bit next week, but even these numbers are going to be right about normal for this time of the year. And then we start to see chances of showers and thunderstorms into and around the area. Again, by about Tuesday into Wednesday, that'll be our next best chance of anything happening. Cloudy skies on Sunday night. Again, we're seeing a weak front pass through the area here. That's just going to be cloud cover. We're not seeing anything right now that says Sunday's going to have rain to it. And outside of those showers early on Saturday morning, weekend should be dry coming up. So that looks pretty good. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s going into, again, the middle part of October. No problem at all for spring break, again, or fall break, I should say, with, again, chances of showers and thunderstorms minimal by about Tuesday into Wednesday. So just not seeing, again, a lot of major ups and downs here. Comfortable, dry for the most part. And, again, chances of showers and thunderstorms out there to kind of do a very good job of keeping the dust settled uh, by just a little bit out there. Thanks to everybody who's joining us uh, for this morning. Rhonda Sweet Sue. Uh, can't even pronounce that last name, Voeji, Beige, 
something like that. You think with a name like Annika would know better. 67 in Trenton, Tennessee. Thank you very much for that one. And everybody else checking in, nice and windy in Covington, Arter Bridge, Louise, Tina. Good morning back to you as well. 68 and cloudy in Smithville, Mississippi from amateur radio operator KDLA. P. Welcome to the show from KG4GKE. Thanks for joining us today. The counties in Mississippi have been dropped from the burn ban list. Lee County was under a burn ban. The rain over the last couple of days was enough to drop the burn ban here. All counties in Mississippi are still under a statewide burn ban by governor proclamation last week. And again, that involves all outdoor burning. If you don't know what that means, contact the Mississippi Department of Forestry or your local fire department, or if you'd like to get the information direct from us, go to wreg.com slash weather. All the information is there right below the forecast for today, and you get contact information, uh, the website's available, all that type of stuff going on. Tennessee, no counties in the News Channel 3 viewing area under burn bans at this time, and only three counties in Middle Tennessee under burn bans for right now. So, so far, looking a little bit better, but once again, remember, check first before doing anything like outdoor yard waste burning, construction site burning, anything like that. Still is only going to take one spark to create a large, dangerous, possible possibly deadly wildfire. So once again, let's use some caution and common sense out there as we go throughout the next few days. Good news into the Gulf of Mexico and the Western Caribbean. We're not seeing anything in the way of development over the next couple of days, so excellent news on that. We do have a couple of systems right off the East Coast. It's not much, and these are expected to merge together as they sort of wander their way up the East Coast, so nothing huge is developing, nothing strong, nothing in the way of a major next system coming in from off of Africa or out of the Caribbean, but once again, if you're heading to the East Coast, say anything north of the D.C. Baltimore area, I would keep an eye on this as this may stir up some possibly foul weather as we go into the next couple of days into New England. So if you're traveling that way for fall break, that could be something to take a look at there. All right, tonight in and around the area of Clay County, Arkansas, Rector, Arkansas, the community center, the National Weather Service from Memphis will be teaching another Skywarn Spotter training course that starts tonight at 6.30 p.m., 704 East 9th Street in Rector, Arkansas, way up in northeastern Arkansas. This is just outside the News Channel 3 viewing area. The National Weather Service covers a bit of a wider area than our broadcast counties do, so we're letting everybody know about this. If you're up and around this area, Jonesboro, Blytheville, Truman, Manila, in that area, this might be a good meeting for you to attend to learn more about becoming a storm spotter. You become the eyes and ears of the National Weather Service keeping an eye on what's going on out there, and more importantly, reporting back that information to the NWS in Memphis so they can tell people like me, so I can tell everybody else what's going on on the air should it become necessary. So again, your information could save a life totally free on these meetings. They last about an hour, hour and a half, again, depending on how many questions are asked and answered. So please consider becoming a Skywarn spotter. We need your help. The more people that know what to look for out there, the more protected we're all going to be. So again, good opportunity to see what's going on in the Mid-South before storm season number two arrives. And we're getting close right now. It's about mid-October through about early December. We can get some very nasty weather coming through here. Now is the time to get prepared about maybe a little bit less than a dozen of these meetings coming up in the next several days and weeks. So please keep it tuned to News Channel 3, especially online, and we'll keep you updated as to when the next meetings will be held out there. More information direct from the National Weather Service. Follow them on Twitter at NWS Memphis or go to weather.gov slash M-E-G. That's their three-letter identifier. Or just go to weather.gov and then just click on the map for the Mid-South area. It'll take you right to that website on there that has all the watches and warnings and advisories on it. So a good opportunity to see more about what's happening there. Very mild across the area. Again, this is 
way above normal for this time of the year. We're going to be seeing temperatures back in the mid to upper 80s. If we get enough sunshine out there, there might be some 90s in store for us. And again, this is early October, so that's way past its prime for now. Isolated showers and thunderstorms could be a problem. So outdoor activities, be prepared to move back indoors again as we get into the early part of this afternoon and especially into this evening. I'll have more on your forecast tomorrow morning, bright and early, as Todd Demers is off for a couple of days. Tim and Jim have your forecast tonight, starting on News Channel 3, first at 4. Questions, ideas about what you'd like to see on here, more satellite, more climate data, anything like that. Complaints, if you absolutely must, send me an email at austin.onic at wreg.com. would love to hear from you. Or, again, you can find me on all those social media pages down there at the bottom of your screen with the forecast scrolling by there. We'll have more coming up on News Channel 3 live at 9 throughout the rest of the morning and, of course, an update on News Channel 3 at noon. And, again, Tim and Jim have your forecast coming up on News Channel 3 first at 4. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for all the weather reports in the comments section. And keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest updates on your forecast as we head into this weekend and towards some cooler temperatures.